Hello and welcome to News Now, Belmont Journal, News Show and Community Update. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. As the summer approaches, community organized for solidarity, cause, black and brown in Belmont and the Belmont Public Library is inviting us to a community of a season of learning and a 21 day challenge. We have with us today, Jennifer Burgess, leadership of COS and co-founder of Black and Brown in Belmont and Sarah Bilodeau, a leadership of COS. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Sarah and Jennifer, what is the Summer of Learning? So the Summer of Learning is an idea we came up with to um, pair our social and racial justice um, work with uh, actions that community members can take part in. Our kickoff is tomorrow with Debbie Irving from 6.30 to 8.30. And the title of that is called, um, I'm a good person, isn't that enough? And it, uh, she'll talk about the history of uh, racism and um, where we are now, how it, how structural it is, what to recognize, and how to move forward. The, the starting day is tomorrow, Tuesday, June 15 at 6.30, and we're going to talk about uh, a book. Debbie Irvin is the author. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, Debbie Irving wrote a book called Waking Up White, and it talks about, uh, it's geared towards white folks who may not have been aware of some of the structural and um, institutional racist uh, laws and, and um, you know, ways of how we in our local areas um, need to learn about. So stuff like redlining, um, and, and what microaggressions are, um, things of that nature. I think people, there's, a, there's a misconception that people from Massachusetts don't need this type of education, that we're okay, there's no, there's no racism here. And it really, uh, the book really um, goes into detail about what types of racism we, uh, that folks face all the time and how to recognize it as, as uh, white folks. The evening is more than a writer's talk, and it's also a kickoff of the 21-day challenge. Can you share more about that? Yeah, the 21-day challenge is a 21-day racial equity habit building challenge. And what it is, is that we are asking folks to engage in one activity per day. And those activities can come from reading, listening, watching, noticing, connecting, engaging, acting, reflecting, and ways to stay inspired. We will meet, uh, we'll have three meetings after our kickoff, one on the 23rd, one on the 30th, both on Zoom, and one in person on July 8th. And in each of those meetings, the first two are really for folks to, um, talk about which activities they participated in, um, how it felt, uh, sharing ideas. It's a, a very uh, laid back uh, way of having a conversation and sharing ideas. And then July 8th will be a um, in-person picnic so that we can bring people together and um, get to know each other and build more community here in Belmont. Sarah, um, what is the goal with these activities? So I think that um, sort of just following up with what Jennifer said, the goal is really to, first of all, gather people together and build our community for um, active participation in anti-racism and anti-racist thinking, anti-racist action in Belmont. So many of us have um, learned a lot in the past year and with everything opening up, the pandemic seems, you know, people are getting vaccinated and there are so many opportunities for socialization, um, but we don't want to lose the momentum for 
um, action in terms of moving forward and building our community around anti-racist thought and anti-racist systems. So this is a way for us to kind of combine that opening up with the picnic, for example, that Jennifer just talked about. And then um, neighbors are already, or, people, there are already lots of, there's already a lot of enthusiasm and interest for this event. So neighbors are already actually um, organizing beyond the first three nights that we just discussed to um, gather in backyards, gather potentially in parks, even combine with groups that are doing similar work in Cambridge um, throughout the summer going into July and August. So I think the goal is, like Jennifer said, twofold, sort of um, no matter where you're beginning your journey, this may be a beginning step for you where, you know, you're just waking up as the title of the book um, evokes, or it may be a, um, a place where you're kind of have been doing a lot of work in the past year or more, and you're kind of excited to like spend, dig in deeper this summer. Um, but to do that same thing, like education and community building all at once. And is any hashtag you're doing? Is any face Facebook page that you are you want us to follow to to follow up with all these challenges? So yeah, the Belmont Public Library has. Uh, you can go to their website and you'll see the um, Equity Challenge, the event that we're doing with Debbie Irving of Waking Up White, and you will also see it on the Cause Facebook website, Instagram. Um, and, I and Twitter too, and Twitter. I mean, yeah. they use Twitter and then we have our website and I think it's worthwhile to, which is just uh, causenewengland.org, um, cosnewengland.org. And I think it might be worthwhile if you're not already to sign up for our mailing list, because um, like Jennifer discussed there with the 21 day racial equity challenge and the work continuing throughout the summer, um, cause offers a lot of weekly opportunities to get involved, for example, serving food, mutual aid opportunities, um, stand, standouts for racial justice, connecting with other community organizations in our area to do the work as well. So um, it's a great opportunity to get involved this summer. It is, it is. And who is invited and are you including teams? I think teams are included. I think um, anyone, everyone can benefit from um, the actions, the activities that we're asking people to you know, choose one a day. Um, so there's plenty of, if, if you were to Google the 21 day racial equity habit building challenge, um, that page is Debbie Irving's page and it has, um, areas that you can click on. So one will say read and it will give you multiple sources of, um, of plenty of reading, uh, material. Uh, one is watch. It'll give you a lot of, um, documentaries, Ted talks, things like that, um, ways to engage. Um, and then like Sarah said, if you go to the cause new England.org, you can find many, many opportunities um, and ways to engage. And, and again, connecting with our community members and our neighbors. Um, so I, everyone's invited. There's no age limit. Um, Great. It's all yes. information that everyone should know. Yep, it sounds like a perfect community opportunity to all meet and get to know each other. And going back to the book, is it gonna be like a book club or they all need to get the book or it's gonna be uh, available online? How are you uh, working on that? So a lot of folks have read the book already. Um, it's been around for quite a while. If they haven't, you can borrow it from the Belmont Public Library. They have ordered more um, copies. Um, you can buy the book from Debbie Irving's website. Um, and, you know, I'm a big fan of, of buy, buy Nothing Belmont and regifting and, and repurposing books. So uh, I know I have a copy that I'm willing to give to somebody. Um, but it's not necessary to read the book in, in order to come to the event tomorrow uh, with Debbie Irving. You mentioned this is the summer of learning. After this activity, are you looking to do more? We are, thank you for asking. Um, we are working um, on, there's a program in Cambridge that we are hoping to get folks involved in and it's called White People Challenging Racism, Moving from Talk to Action. It is a five week program. And right now we're in the planning stages of how we're gonna do it. We are figuring out whether we're gonna have it just for Belmont residents or if we're gonna have Belmont residents join 
the class. Um, it's held by the Cambridge Center for Adult Education. And it really just continues the conversation and adds action. Um, people leave with an action plan. And that's the most important part. All right, you will have the information to where to sign up for the Zoom meeting is on the screen. And is there anything you would like to summarize or you would like to tell all the people? I just, you know, I'm a lifelong Belmont resident and a lot of the issues that um, we've seen pushed to the forefront in the last year are not new. They're just being recorded and reported. Um, I think that diversity is a benefit for everyone. And um, it's, you know, community building and, and um, mutual aid is always really important. Um, but we want to create a better Belmont, a better world um, for everyone. And, you know, that's not what I can think of. Sarah, I don't know if you have anything. I totally agree. I couldn't, I couldn't say it better myself. The one thing that I would just mention is that um, don't be intimidated by the fact that we have the three initial meetings set up and then more information following for July and August, um, you know, connections as well. Don't be intimidated by those three. If you have um, plans for one or two of those evenings, please just join us whenever you can, um, whether that's on the 15th and then again on the 30th or on the 15th and the 23rd. Whatever dates work for you, we'll look forward to having you. And I think these are conversations that will be meaningful when they are ongoing and continuous, but also meaningful to, as a drop-in session. So I think it's um, geared for people that have, geared around our schedules, personalizing it. So Great. we hope to see all of you at some point. <laughs> yes. yes. And again, this is, it starts tomorrow, June 15 at 5.30 via Zoom. So sign up. You will have all the information on the screen. And thank you for joining. This is it for today. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Thank you for watching. <laughs>